Select a layer in Affinity Photo that's got transparency. Then go to Layer and Duplicate Layer. Layer and Duplicate. So now you've got three in total, all identical. Go to the first layer and then go to Filters and Blur. And you can apply any other blur effect. Don't have to apply this one, maybe Motion Blur. But I'm just going to go for a nice blurring effect background around about 65, 70, up to you. Click OK. For the second one, here, go to Effects. Click here, and then just go here to Outline. Make certain you check that, highlight that, and then change the radius, and increase it, so you can now see you've got this black line. And of course you can vary it, make it thin, or as thick as you like. I'm just gonna go with about there, and close. With this layer, go up here to the blend modes, and go all the way down the bottom, and select arrays. And now you've got this look through image. You've got the outline and you've got the blur. Or you can select all of those layers and then go to layer and down to merge selected. So they're all merged into a single layer. Once you've got that, you can of course copy it multiple times. Hold down the alter option key and drag. Again, drag again, drag, drag, and drag to create all kinds of unusual outline effects with that blur and, or maybe space them out. Again, hold down the alter option key and drag and just duplicate it and place them like that. And of course you could use different figures in your image as well. You don't have to use exactly the same image. Another possible, hold down the alter option key and drag and just create a very subtle movement. So you get this lovely sort of contour effect, just dragging off like that. You can still see the shape, but now you've got obviously multiple copies of that design. Of course, you can always duplicate the object and then apply filter effects to that. So go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and maybe reduce it down a bit. Just create Slight Blur and click Apply. And of course, you can duplicate that if you wish as well, or apply additional effects. You can also select the layer and then go to Layer and New Pattern Layer from Selection and create all kinds of different pattern designs. Perhaps hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate and create a pattern there. You can also remove the original pixel design. You can also use this as a great source for brushes. Select the layer, then go to the Brushes panel, right side menu, and down to New Brush from Selection. Once you've got that, double click, bring up the design, and then you can modify the size, as well as spacing, as well as dynamics, such as size jitter. Click Close. With the Paintbrush tool selected, Go to the document and apply your new paintbrush. Any comments, please let me know in the comments below.